is what's up man i just took a well-deserved break just had some stuff to eat you know got enough water so right now i am hydrated let me fix this angle a little bit there we go huh so if you guys watched the previous video here on the youtube channel you know where i am i am back here at the west palm inlet what i call the evil slippery dick nursery <laughs> if you guys watched the previous video you guys know exactly why i call it that right if i cast right over there out there i kid you not i would catch a slippery dick like right now but the plan for the afternoon is not to land or handle any slippery dicks okay we're i'm going to actually change my rigs and my techniques i think this video is going to be a great video in comparison to the last one to kind of show you guys that if you hit the same spot right the only difference is that the tide is going up instead of down in the morning if you hit the same spot but you change up the baits the rigs the techniques you are you are actually able to land different species of fish so this is the plan for the afternoon stay tuned let's get the fishing started yeah i think this is going to work so the first thing that i want to do that is a little bit different than what i did in the morning is i want to set up a second rod for soaking bait now you see this rig that i'm using right here is a pretty specialized rig my sinker does not move it is attached to the line and there is very little leader right or line after the sinker for the hook that's because i really really want to try to catch an eel around these rocks over here and since the tide is rising right now i think the eel is really going to come out here to kind of play with my with my bait right if you guys remember that other video I that i shot I oh, when i was no, in florida I with my it. parents i lost a no, huge eel right so oh, i kind of want to take revenge on its family today but before i can throw this down there I need some cut bait so let's try to catch like a little blanny or something chop it up and just have some fresh fish on this hook based on the fish that i caught in the morning there should be a bunch of hairy blannies right along these rocks so it shouldn't take me very long to catch my bait at all as a matter of fact i'm getting bites already there we go that's perfect that is perfect hey, easy now boy easy so, <laughs> yo, you you have to serve your purpose you know what i'm saying i'm sorry that i would have to kill you but so we got here the hairy blaney same ones that we've been catching the entire morning and this is going to be great cut bait for us today ladies and gentlemen we got a whole blaney head on the hook over there and I mean, you got to think about this, right? Why is the blenny such a good bait for this particular place, right? That's because if there are any eels around here and blennies do like to stay in the rocks and things like that, if there are eels here, they probably are used to seeing these blennies and eating these blennies, right? So I'm just going to cast, I mean, I just cast right in this little rock crack right over here. And you know what that's a pretty deep and juicy rock crack i'm just gonna leave my rod back here and uh this is pretty much it i'm just gonna leave it right over here you kind of notice how i didn't get i didn't put a lot of line after the sinker right i don't want to give the eel a lot of room to run around with my bait so this is it man i see i got this, the drag set over here if the fish gets it i will see the stip just moving bro it is instant instant kill it is about time for me to punch this rod out there too i'm still going to use the high low rig that i used in the morning but instead of shrimp or squid i'm going to punch out some cut hairy blaney huh so we're going to put some cut bait out there in hopes that some different species show up oh we got a hit on the cut bait oh yeah oh yeah oh dude we got a hit on the cut bait man there's something on the on the cut bait here there's definitely something oh you got to be kidding me what 
Bro, there was definitely something on the cut bait. Yeah, whatever it is. Oh my goodness, what? What? Bro, what? It bit through whatever is it that was chewing on my cut bait, bit through my 30 pounds Power Pro braided line. What? Anyways, I'm gonna cast this one back right over there. Maybe the fish is still around. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna, I, I need to get some more cut bait. I need to get some more cut bait. My goodness gracious, bro. Man, even the blue fish of New Jersey, the Pomatomo Salta Tricks, doesn't really bite through the 30 pounds Power Pro unless it's like a big ass blue fish. Are you kidding me? Uh, you were telling me whatever is down there bit oh oh see 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 dude we're gonna hit on that on that on that on that cut bait again bro oh yeah oh yeah i'm snagged what 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 is this now i'm starting to get pissed dude you, you guys saw it the bite was legit it, it wasn't you know damn bro what the heck i just lost my whole rig what okay this is starting to puzzle me it is good though we're getting bites which is not bad at all that's good that's a good thing oh my goodness that's the cut bait that's the cut bait folks that's the cut bait something is on the cut bait oh no this is unbelievable. I'm running out of cut bait already. I had three bites on this rod so far. And uh, that was 100% a yield. I saw it, like, you know, the yield. Oh man, what? I'm telling you, man, today is the day, man. I I'm, I'm going to catch, I'm going to catch a yield right here, man. Well, I tell you what, I did want, I did not want to do this, but desperate times require desperate measures. What do we got here? Is it slippery dick? Wait, what? What? I was going to say that I was going to do a uh, slippery dick chum, a dick chum, and instead of slippery dicks, I ended up landing a lane snapper and what seems to be a silver porgy. That's fascinating. These porgies are actually not as easy to identify as you would think. I just killed this porgy right here. You see, I severed its, its spine connection and then I just bled it by cutting its gills. This fish right here is going to be part of my chum to attract the eel. I was really planning on catching a few slippery dick to do a dick chum but since this little porgy right here kind of volunteered <laughs> yeah certain sense to become chum i'm just gonna chum him now mind you i don't want my eels down there to be too full with the chum which is why i'm not chunking the whole fish down there i just i'm just going to chum like the belly portion of this fish you see just kind of in the vicinity and let the waves carry the smell it is all falling inside the hole over there, which is great. And I'm just gonna leave my piece right next to it, man. So hopefully that eel or those eels, they smell it and they're just like, oh, dinner time. Small hits. <coughs> all close, but no cigar. Oh, that was a better bite. Oh, that's a nice hit. That was a nice bite. Oh my goodness. This ain't no slippery dick, whatever it is. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Different species throughout the day, man. The eel rod, pretty quiet over here. But you know what? As far as I keep catching new stuff, I am not going to complain too much about it, you know? We got ourselves here a poor 
Forkfish, the Anisotremus virginicus, not to be confused with the pigfish. I don't know who the heck named this fish for real, but man, ain't that a beauty, huh? Two black bars, right? And yellow stripes through its body, yellow all fins, all defining characteristics of a pork fish. I certainly love catching these little fellas. Oh, this guy is pissed. Not only they fight real good, they are also real good looking, like I am. No, I'm just messing. And they and I hear that they taste real good too, you know. I never ate one of these. Maybe one day. I always find them too beautiful to to eat them. But man, that's that's nice. This is actually fascinating. The whole morning I was catching slippery dick after slippery dick. Slippery dick after slippery dick. I had a record for real, like I don't think I ever handled so many slippery dicks in one day like I have today. And then, you know, afternoon comes, high tide, right tide shifts, and all the other different species are showing up, which is amazing. So, what we got here? Another species for today, is it? Yeah, now what exactly is this? Man, I have what what are these? I need I need to double check this one. These grunts are killing me today. Wow, I have to say this is actually quite fascinating. Today I'm really catching all the weird and interesting types of grunt out here. 100%. This right here, my friends, I am pretty positive is the Caesar grunt. The Hymulon carbonarum. That's, I already have this on my species list, but I mean, this is only my third ever Caesar grunt, right? Wow. This morning, I also caught that Spanish grunt that I thought it was a French, a juvenile French grunt, right? That was the Hyamulon macrostomum, a new species for me. My collection of the Hyamulon is definitely growing, you know? What, what, did we, what did I get so far? Let me see. I got the blue, blue stripe grunt, Hyamulon isiurus. I got the white grunt, the Hyamulon plumieri. I already have the tomtate, the Hyamulon aurolineatum. The French grunt, the Hyamulon flavolineatum. The sailor's choice grunt, the Hyamulon paha. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Oh, there's also the smallmouth grunt, the Hyamulon chrysargirium, right? So, I mean, my collection of grunt is definitely growing by quite a lot. I like that. <laughs> Anyways, sunset is coming. I still have a little bit of time. Gotta, gotta keep fishing, man. Keep fishing, you know? See if anything else shows up. Oh, what to do, what to do. It is 5.08 p.m. right now. Sunset is coming around 5.30. I am losing light real quickly over here. You guys can see sun is pretty much down over there. Eel rod has been pretty quiet. I did miss that eel earlier today, but I have hopes that once sunset comes, maybe something else is going to hit it. I am going to keep fishing until the sun goes down, but sadly the GoPro just sucks for filming when there's low light so I am going to stop the filming right over here I guess you guys will find out if I caught that eel or not in the next video on the YouTube channel right that being said today the fishing the struggle was real if you guys watch the previous video on the channel and this video right now that fish with a yellow tail I missed it twice it was a new species for me the eel over here, I got two bites, <laughs> I missed it. There were a few mishaps in this video too that you guys didn't really get to see. I actually landed a terminal phase uh, stoplight parrot fish, super beautiful, on the cut bait rod. And then I kind of just realized after I released on everything that I wasn't filming. So that was, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? 
But needless to say, I did end up today landing more than 10 species of fish, I believe. So it wasn't a bad day at all compared to yesterday, day one in Florida. Oh man, today was like a blessing. And I got one more day down here. So you know that after I fish over here, go back to the hotel, I'm gonna sleep real good because tomorrow is gonna be another full day of exploring and hopefully catching some cool species for you guys here on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I truly appreciate it. Ah, I am as disappointed as you folks are that nothing big showed up today. I did try, you guys just didn't get to see it. I threw lures around the area, you know, I tried big hooks with big baits, nothing. I am disappointed that no new species besides that grunt showed up. I did try my best, you guys saw. And you know, man, I keep it real on this YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? There are days that I do really well for the species and there are days that I fail, like today. But the key idea is EPF is out there grinding and trying, right? So even though I kind of fail today when it comes to the new species, it was a very productive day, knowledge-wise, okay? So that's it. Tie lines, I'll see you all next time. Time to fish until the sun goes down, baby. Oh my goodness, that's what's up. I got my eel. I just landed my eel and my eel fell into this rock cracks. Can you believe that? Somewhere in here is the eel that I just landed. Oh, it's right there, I see it, I see it. Oh my goodness, it's all the way in there. Oh, I can't, I can't lose this eel, man. Whoa, crap, bro. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, <sighs> oh, yeah, son. I told you guys I was going to get a eel today or my name is not Liu Sheng. You see that? Now, what type of eel this is? Uh, we'll figure out later. For now, let me just, uh, take a photo of this guy oh easy easy and we're going to release it all right let's let's wet here real quick wet wet it for the fish my man so there we have it huh this is our moray eel right over here i am going to identify it later it is a beautiful beautiful sample it is pretty much sunset I don't want to break it, its, jaw, its jaw, so I'm inclining it here to the right, but I just wanted to show you guys the little vicious teeth right here. You don't want to mess with those teeth, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days, I messed with those teeth and I paid a heavy price. Two puncture wounds on my hand. Alright, so there you have it. I told you guys, I was going to get a damn meal, and here it is. Gotta take a shot now and release it. All right, listen up. As much as I want to release this guy nicely, I don't want it to bite the hell out of me, okay? It's it's a vicious creature that has got teeth. So, I'm going to I'm going to kind of throw it. I'm going to throw! You see that? Awesome release. You see just warm away like that and I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm I'm feeling accomplished now. That that's that's what's up, man. I told you all I would catch a eel. And by miracles of gods out here, I caught a eel that fell into the rock crack, didn't even film the thing, but we recovered it, we saved it, and uh, it's good to go now. It wasn't even a new species, that's great. I will see you guys next video.